Thank you, Superintendent Johnson Trammell. I'm really glad to be here with you, Oakland Unified School District, on this day of, of transition and, and transformation in some ways. Um, I am also here with my colleagues, uh, Dr. Naomi Bordak, um, who is an associate professor of pediatrics and policy at UCSF and also leads our California Safe Schools for All team and uh, with Dr. Emily Frank, who is also a pediatrician at UCSF, as well as a teacher at Life Academy, and Dr. Mon Monica Gandhi, who is the infection disease uh, specialist uh, at UCSF uh, Benioff uh, Hospital, at UCSF Hospital, please forgive me. Um, really grateful to be with all of you today. I uh, came here and kind of rushed here from Castlemont uh, to be with all of you um, today and, and on this day of uh, return. Uh, next slide, please. We want to just remind you that uh, our goal is to partner with you, Oakland Unified School District families, with students, with teachers, with staff, administrators, by providing accessible, trustworthy scientific information to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission. Uh, we are independent medical providers here just to offer our expertise um, and to join with your expertise right, to provide some support to better understand the existing data and guidelines. Um, we know there's information coming from everywhere um, and all sorts of information. And we wanna give you um, the most up-to-date scientific information that you, so that you can make good decisions for yourselves. Um, new data is coming out all the time. What's true today can change tomorrow. And so we uh, updated these slides uh, today. They're fresh off the press and you're gonna have the most up-to-date and accurate information. Next slide, please. We are part of a large community, a large group. And so the four of us will be speaking with you today, but I want everyone just to take a moment and to uh, notice the expertise that has gone into creating this presentation and conversation with you today, including some people I know who are here, Dr. Long I saw earlier, um, also Dr. Gaspar Rivera, uh, Dr. Lee Atkinson, uh, McCoy, you know, many, many people have come together to create uh, this presentation for you today. Next slide, please. And so here's our journey. Um, we're gonna start with health equity. Um, we are rooted in a commitment to that uh, to make sure that everyone has the most optimal health possible and removing barriers to health and health outcomes for all, everyone in our community. Um, we wanna talk about mental health concerns. When we talk about health, we know there's physical health, but our physical health, uh, mental health, emotional health is all connected. Um, and we'll, I'll be speaking to you a little bit about that. Um, we know that we are opening uh, Oakland Unified School District today, going back into the buildings, um, but that we have lessons to learn from school reopenings across our state and across the country. And we'll also share about COVID uh, transmission and how to mitigate re risk in the classroom. We'll share updates on vaccine variants and implications for school reopening. And in between, we'll have time for Q&A. We want to acknowledge also, uh, next slide, please, that our values and the values uh, inside Oakland, um, but also our values as a committee uh, and values of trauma-informed system, that they're rooted in transparency. And so we will be sharing with you information um, that we have, as well as letting you know when we're sharing information, maybe I might be sharing information as a psychotherapist and MFT, uh, maybe at some point share information as a mom of a 13 year old who's feeling both excited and nervous about returning to school. So we'll be very transparent with you, both in our information and also in our roles as we share stories. Uh, we are committed to the safety and the well being of all physical safety, emotional safety of everyone in the school building. Um, we are rooted in racial equity, and we know that this is a time like many others um, where we are feeling, uh, some communities even more so feeling uh, the pain of uh, racism and racialized violence. Um, and we wanna acknowledge that. We wanna make sure that we are doing what we can as a medical and health community uh, to decrease any of those disparities and health outcomes um, and to the address the disparities that have been here for a long time. Um, but that COVID-19 has really shown a light on and highlighted for us as a collective community. We're here again to collaborate with you and to empower you to make the best decisions in your classroom, for your school, for your family and your community. And we know deeply the resiliency uh, that is part of Oakland, um, that is rooted here. We see it, um, we saw it at the beginning of this pandemic as teachers uh, worked so hard 
so very hard to provide the best quality education uh, for our families. Um, I'm tearing up um, just because I, you know, have seen it as a parent and also have seen it um, as someone who works close proximity with school teachers and educators. Um, we are so grateful for your resilience, your recovery, um, both, you know, last year in March and here again as we return to the classroom. This image here is called After the Storm, and it was created by Kadir Nielsen, and um, he painted it, uh, African-American artist painted it at the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, he sees shows us all kind of looking towards the light, right? There will be something after the storm. We are moving towards the future um, and headed in the same direction. Um, and so just really painting this image of hope. Um, and I hope we can feel some of that hope together today. Next slide, please. So we're gonna start with health equity, um, as I shared. Um, we are very aware, and if you can come to the next slide, that our communities um, have been impacted differently by COVID-19. Um, that there are some communities that have had greater amount of loss of death of COVID-19 transmission while already um, meeting the uh, challenges of, of that our communities have um, Next slide, please. And already meeting the challenges, thank you, of, of our communities have impacted the, through um, health disparities. And so because of that, that there is mistrust in our healthcare systems and medicine. You know, some people are like, vaccine, what vaccine? Um, and that distrust um, from the field of medicine comes because medicine has a systematic, like any other system, systematic racism and oppression lives inside of the medical and health system. And we are aware of that. We are here to name it, to acknowledge it, and to know that we are doing everything that we can um, to transform that system. We are aware that there are poverty and education gaps, housing instability and lack of healthcare um, that put racial and ethnic minority groups at higher COVID risk uh, we know that many of our young people, our high school students, you know, at the beginning of this, were going to work in nursing, nursing homes and grocery stores. You know, many of our young people have become uh, the breadwinner for their families, and we are aware of the greater risk that that has put them in. We know that some of these strategies to slow down um, COVID-19 transmission have also harmed unintentionally impacted communities um, due to lost wages or increased stress and other consequences. You know, I think about the young people that we serve and all that they're doing right now to support their families and their well-being. Next slide, please. We are one Oakland, and this is an image of Oakland here for all of us, um, but we are different neighborhoods, different communities. Um, and you see here the dark red, the dark blue, um, the so, same images in East Oakland. This community has been more deeply impacted by COVID-19 transmission and also loss and death. Um, we are working together to make the best decisions for all of Oakland, you know, and as we do that, we also are taking into account that COVID-19 for all of us was stressful, right? You know, whoever's here, right? There is a stress, it's a change. And the way stress, our bodies are designed to deal with stress um, and any change in our system can feel like stress, even today, there's good stress and bad stress. Um, but for some communities, uh, it was more than stressful. It was a compounding um, trauma, loss, death, grief, poverty, and we want to pay attention um, to those communities that were most hardly, hardest impacted by COVID-19 and the impacts. We want to also hold here um, that we want, you know, the in terms of thinking about communities that are most impacted, the communities that are also most impacted by lack of trustworthy information. Um, you know, I know I had someone who, you know, showed me, oh, look, my son is sending me all of these texts, all of this information, I don't know what to do. Um, but those communities that are already vulnerable are those communities that might be most impacted by false information. And we are committed today uh, with Dr. Nina Smith to provide you scientific information, evidence, and data uh, that you can trust. 